This is the place, but... I'm sorry, Clive. There's no weapon spared. What do we do now? We keep looking. Man's Hill cannot be the only place where snow daisies grow. Perhaps, but... It's the only place I know of. You of. Then why not ask someone who might know of another? Someone at the backyard? To the hideaway, then. Let's hope one of the gardeners knows where to find snow daisies. So what do I owe the honor? Crack the crystal? Not a very good one. But then... What is it? It's hardly everything. And a will! I, I promise! You can count on me! Be seeing ya! Say what you will. Says your books might be still tell us about his adventures in Ash. You've inspired them all to become writers themselves. Again. Well, then maybe when he gets <laughs> back. So we'll need to find some more. When you return, would you mind teaching the children another lesson? They did so enjoy your last. When you return, would you mind teaching the children? So there's a new mother. Fussing over it won't see the hens fed. One moment you think you've freed the realm from her fate. The next, a darker one rears up to replace it. What awaits us when we finally attain release? True freedom. brings you down from the heavens, Sid. I need your advice. Joshua and I are looking for a place where snow daisies grow. Preferably in abundance. Snow daisies. 
Then you'll want somewhere not too hot and not too cold. And where the winds are strong enough to carry the seeds. Uh, I reckon Man's Hill would be a good place to start. There in the Royal Meadows, perhaps? Both have similar climbs and the right elevation. If the Blight hasn't claimed them yet. Right. Thank you. Did you learn where we might find our flowers? The gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in Sambrak. Ah, the fields beyond Northridge. Well, if that's the case, then Yote was right. I recall that she'd kept the record of our travels, you see. So I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew, and she mentioned Oilerfeist Bay. Whose shores border the meadows. Off we go, then. The winds that blow across the Royal Meadows from Oilerfeist Bay are strong indeed. Strong enough for snow daisies, it seems. The winds that blow across the Royal Meadows... Snow daisies may be beautiful, but they are really quite deadly. I wouldn't recommend eating one. <laughs> snow daisies may be beautiful.
faster. Meadows are vast. Where do we even start? Yote mentioned the coastline. We can start there.
do you see, boy? Let's hope this is the last one. Only one way to find out. That was harder than I expected. But found her. It was worth it. They're beautiful. Do you think Jill will like them? She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. It appears my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? Jill, there's something I'd like to show you. There is? And where might this something be? It's, uh, not here. Now, I know this is sudden, but how would you fancy a trip to Oriflam? There are so many. This is what you wanted to show me. I, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. We've been worried about you, Joshua and I. Do you remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or... Oh. Tried to. <laughs> How could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. <laughs> but I felt wonderful nonetheless. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects. 
with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be all right. I'll never forget that feeling. Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? No. What? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tour. And from there I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... No matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. That, that you... That you would always come for me. And you have. Again and again. Where do you see us? When all this is over? I don't know. Not here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. After everything we've been through, the realm just seems so small. I'll need some space to spread my wings. Then... That's what you'll have. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. much good at garlands, but it'll have to do. I'll treasure it forever. Thank you, Blythe, for this, the flowers, for everything. It's exactly what I needed. You are my treasure. We should probably be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. You're right. There's still much to do. And we'll do it together.
Clive. To the end, brother. Let's hope one of the merchants here has what Gav needs. Excuse me. I'm looking for something. Oh, well, then I'm your man. <laughs> A silver chocobo feather. Oh, or maybe not. Though you're not the first to mention the bird around here. There was a man stopped by the rest not long ago, claiming he was attacked by a silver chocobo. Near some guided hovel, not far from Eastpool. Most took him for a braggart and a liar, but who knows? Perhaps there was some truth to his tale. We'll see. Thank you. The feller who claimed he was attacked didn't linger here long. Said he was gonna go back and capture it. Prove us all wrong. And that was the last we ever heard of him. Feller who claimed he was attacked. Wonderful creatures chocobos are. They're fast, strong, loyal, and best of all... The Guardians of the Flame were true friends to the rest. They fought our enemies, and our barricades. Anything catch your eye? That all, is it? Just because the heavens have gone to wreck and ruin, it don't mean we have to. I've got greens of all shapes. Let's get this stall set out. How do, traveller? You've the look of a man who could do with a new whetstone? Or perhaps a bawdy etching of the vicerine? Uh, maybe another time. I'm looking for a silver chocobo feather. <sighs> if that's the case, rumours are all you're likely to find. No one has seen a silver chocobo for years. Word is, they were all hunted for their feathers. Some northern nonsense about bringing good luck. <laughs> Didn't bring them much, nor their bows. If any are still out there, I reckon they'll be doing their damnedest not to be discovered. You're probably right. Thank you anyway. The hills around the rest are crawling with wild chocobos. If you're not too picky about the colour of their plumes. The hills around the rest are crawling with wild chocobos. We've got a few rooms going spare now. You want a bed for the night? We'll speak tomorrow. Look, Daddy. Shiny so brightly. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. I'm sinister. Can I help you with summer? You wouldn't happen to sell silver chocobo feathers, would you? <laughs> I deal in fruit, not fancies. But if it's fancies you're after, I suggest you try Rhiannon's ride. Was a silver chocobo seen there? Oh, yes. If you believe the ravens of a madman. It wouldn't be the first time. A silver chocobo sighted in the hills near Rhiannon's ride. It sounds almost too good to be true, but since I'm already here... Every few years someone comes along claiming they've sighted a silver bow, but the truth of the matter is, there ain't no such thing. You'll find nothing but bloodflies and bandits on Rhiannon's ride, mark my words. Every few years someone comes along claiming they've sighted...
Thanks, girl.
Ready, go. Tracks. I don't live by bandits for a change. tracks and these look fresh the chocobo was here and recently perhaps it still is It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. Just borrowing a feather for my friend. Thank you. Let's get this back to Gareth before they change their minds. No trouble at all. Still, I appreciate it. Clive, you're back. How'd you get on? Any luck? Any luck, you say? Crystals crack. Is this what I think it is? Where in the hell did you find it? It's a long story. Right there on the road to Eastpool. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Everything up there's been abandoned for years. The empty cabin made for the perfect shelter. Though I fear my presence may have forced the poor creatures to look elsewhere. Don't blame yourself, Clive. The Blight's right on Eastpool's doorstep. They'd have had to move on before long, even if you hadn't have turned up. They'll find a new home, trust me. After all, 
That's what us endangered animals do. Anyway, what matters is, you managed to nick us one of their quills before they could run off. And now all that's left is to fix it to the carving. I didn't know you could carve. Mm, reckon there's a lot you don't know about me. Like the fact I'm as good with a whittling knife as I am with a sword. And that bone ember gave me's a dream to work with. What did you say it was from again? An Avis? But it weren't your Avis, Sid. I slew one of my own at last. So all those long nights in the pit finally bore fruit. I'm proud of you, Ember. <laughs> Don't speak too soon. I ain't done my trial yet. There we go. What do you think? I think if you ever hang up your scouting cap, you'll be able to make an honest living. Now will I. <laughs> I should go and see if Ed is awake. Give him my best. Eh, you can give it to yourself. Come on. I don't want Gav to give up being a scout, honest. I don't want Gav to give up being a scout, honest. just about to go in but then I thought it might be better if you went first what with you been the head of the family and all I was just about to go in but then I thought it might be better if you went first ah me lords how are you feeling well thank you is Something wrong? Wrong? No, nothing like that. Uh, uh, what it is, is... Uh, Go on, please. It's beautiful. Did you make it? We did. I, uh, it's from all of us here at the hideaway. Your new family, like... It's a good luck charm. We may come up north when a bairn's on the way. I, I, I mean, a, a baby. To let him know that they're part of the family too. Oh, I, I, ho I hope you like it. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you, my lords. For everything. If there's anything you need, just let us know. I will. Ah, oh, Clive. Fancy a swift off. I'm thirsty. I could be convinced. Don't you think you've had enough? No, we're celebrating. I'm gonna be a father. <laughs> I think Edda might have something to say about that. Ah, you know what I mean. Bit of light in these dark times. <sighs> it wasn't long after me tenth name day. My mum told us she was with child again. I was over the fucking moon. I was looking forward to having a little one to lord it over. What with me being the runt of the litter. 
thought I'd finally have a chance to prove to the world that I could be a big brother. Imperials came the day she went into labor. Had myself a baby sister. And then I didn't. My whole family gone in a blink while I hid in the cellar like the spineless little arsehole I was. Great brother I turned out to be. I'll never be a leader. And I'll never be a hero. I'm just a daft little dog who comes running when his master calls. I'll never be like you, or Sid, or Jill, or even Toggle. <laughs> Have you finished? Maybe. Do you know why? You're our best scout. Yeah. Because you don't need anyone to hold your hand. Without your resourcefulness, your courage, your determination, I don't know where we'd be. Maybe hanging off a cliff like... Uh... That was only the once. Exactly. You learn from it, and here you are after founder knows how many missions, stronger for everyone. <laughs> and let's not forget Rosalith. Who was it who freed me from the dungeon? Who was it who ran to Jill's rescue? That would be me. Because you're our brother, Gav. My brother. Your brother. Which means that when the time comes, I get your room and your sword. I may have had one too many. You may have had ten too many. I said I was thirsty. Gotta get back to work anyway. After I walk this off. Uh, Clive? What is it? Thanks for, you know, I know. Ugh, one of these days. One of these days, I swear, it's gonna be me who drinks you under the table. If by under the table you mean retching on my boots half the night, I reckon one of those days was yesterday. Ha ha, you think you're so funny. But just wait till we crack open the bottle I left in your chambers. That stuff's strong enough to burn the horns off a behemoth. Sounds like I'll be needing some new boots.
Doris is waiting for me near Balmung Dark. The longer she's out in the open, the more likely she is to be found by Akashic. I need to hurry. I take it. None manning the gates, no. It's a different story inside, though. The corridors are crawling with the Kashik. Most likely guards left behind when the wardens ran. If Chadwick was being held here, I worry that he may already be. Don't give up hope just yet, but let's move quickly. Let me check the ground floor. The ether's thick is there. Then I'll search the upper level. Good luck, Sid. Stay safe. Just how bad are the floods inside the walls? Bad enough to turn a bearer? I hope not. They're risking a lot just being here. Better keep my eyes open for signs of life. So this place was no ordinary prison. And I doubt they'll have taken the creature with them when they fled.
caution, brother. Company. No sign of any bearers yet. I hope you have better luck downstairs. No sign of any bearers yet. I hope you have better luck downstairs. Minimal loss of Waluda lives. And what happens when they run out of bearers? Even the Imperials take better care of their branded than that. Feeding bearers to it. This is even worse than I'd feared. Nothing but a Kashik down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. I should go and see how Doris is getting on. Downstairs. But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Something far more sinister was happening here. I know. I've been reading some of these documents and... It can't be true, can it? Bearers die every day in service of their masters, but this... This is so much worse. Pitting bearers against a wild beast armed with nothing but their wits? And all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but the elderly, children even. And those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of. Whatever that means. I'm afraid it means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here. Then we're too late. And I was a fool to bring you here. Don't say that. Did you find anything else? A key. But it doesn't fit any of the locks on this floor. Perhaps it will fit one of the doors downstairs. There's a corridor I haven't searched yet. Finish up here, then come and find me when you're ready. All right. I'll be there in a moment. If we don't find any survivors, we've risked our lives for nothing. Take care. 
That creature might still be here somewhere. If we don't find any survivors, we've risked our lives for nothing. Sounds close. Who are you? There's no need to be afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards, they're still here. But something's wrong with them. Everyone else was eaten by the monster. <sighs> of course they were. Thanks, the founder. It was worth our coming. But I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready when you are. You poor thing. He must have been terrified. Theatrix sent you. What? He fought the monster. Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others too. Where is he? He opened your cell, didn't he? He wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Was that? Monster's back! Shadowick, help! We have to get out of here. Doris, keep the girl safe. All right. You put that bearer-eating bastard in the ground. We have to run! You're safe now. We won't let it hurt you. I'll look after the girl. You teach that thing a lesson. I'll look after the girl. You teach that thing a lesson. It's out there waiting for me. I can't let it live. Not if it's got a taste for bearers.
Sid, are you hurt? I'm fine. I think. No. What is it? A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. Chadwick. You fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. No. Of course not. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. From what I hear, you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. She is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Heide Marie. That's the man I remember. The man I thought of as a brother. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Of course. You already met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things. Kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. But no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Heide Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick, and for all of us. Thank you, Doris. We'll be counting on you.
too much for you, eh, Toggle? Say so myself. You can thank me later. 